On the last part, you created the necessary files to implement a generic base repository that will work with all our services for adding, deleting, updating, and getting data from the database. On this part, we are going to implement the get methods, which are the get all and get by ID. So let us go to Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, I'll go to the Entity Base Repository and the first thing that we need to do in here is that we need to inject the AppDB context. So for that, I'll just type private, then read only AppDB context and underscore context. Then down here, I'll create a constructor, so CD or, then copy this section, so Control C, Paste it in here and I'll just remove the underscore so they are different and then just assign the value of the underscore context is equal to the context. Now before we type any code let us just go to the solution explorer and then you go to the actors service. The same way in the actors service we have injected the context and then we have used the context down here. On this part we are going to implement the generic versions of the get all async and get by id async. So I'll just copy or maybe just cut these two methods from here and then just go to the entity base repository and then scroll down in here where we have the get all async and the get by id async. I'll just paste the methods in here. Let us start with the get all async. So the same way down here we have the task i enumerable of actor but in here we have i enumerable of t because t now is going to be a parameter because we have said that this repository is a generic one so let us just copy this section control c and then just paste it in here but since inside here we are inside a generic method what we need to do is that we need to remove these actors because we want this method to work for the producers, the cinemas, and the movies as well. So just remove the actors. And now here we need to generically set the type or the entity. And for that we use the set method. So set, then you are going to set the T, and this is a method. Now if you scroll up in here on the previous part, we have said that the T is going to be a class. Let us scroll down. And now here what we need to do is that we need to also add the async in front of the task, then import the namespace for the to list async, and that belongs to the Microsoft.entity framework core. So we added the first method, so let us remove the get all async for the actor. Now we are going to add the get by id async. And for that the same way, I'll just copy this part, Control c and then just paste it in here. Replace the actors with the type of the entity, and for that, set, then t, and this is a method. So let us also add a sync in front, and you can see that the error is gone. So let us also remove this part. 